Just how extreme are some California Democrats? Well, as Israel is struggling to respond to a terrorist attack, several key Democrat activist groups are rallying in support of the terrorists. Ah, you won't believe it, but we've got the receipts coming up on Reform California with Carl DeMaio. I'm Carl DeMaio, chairman of Reform California, and you've seen the images, the horrifying images from the Middle East. Israel attacked on a holy day um, as, as uh, Israeli Jews were, were uh, marking a uh, religious holiday. Hamas, thousands of Hamas terrorists uh, came across the border and slaughtered innocent civilians. The images are absolutely outrageous. No one can justify or defend this atrocious behavior, but you actually do have a number of core Democrat constituency and activist groups here in California that have done just that. They've taken to the streets to support Hamas and to somehow uh, double down on their uh, deranged position that Israel is responsible for the terrorist attack that it has just suffered. Um, take a look at, at this uh, story here. Pro-Palestine demonstrators march in California. This is a video of a march in uh, Anaheim, California uh, from yesterday. <laughs> Resistance is justified. Resistance is not terrorism. These people are insane. They're absolutely insane. They're rabidly wrong on this issue. There's no gray area here. There's no uh, uh, debate here. Israel was attacked by a thug, vicious terrorist organization, Hamas, with the support of the Iranian government, funded and coordinated and assisted by the Iranian government. We're talking about cyber attacks. We're talking about uh, physical attacks by air, tunnel, land, even by waterway. We've got a coordinated attack against Israel. And look at the number of people that are out there from all ethnicities. These are the Democrat activists. These are the people who run the show at the Democrat Party in California. Yes, you've seen a couple other demonstrations in other states. New York City had one. Uh, but this is California, and it's not just one. We are getting reports that these demonstrations happened in the Bay Area in Los Angeles. Obviously, this one in Anaheim in Sacramento, and even here in San Diego, where I live, this is just outrageous. Resistance is justified. Make no mistake about it. They are enabling, they are validating, they are supporting the vicious terrorist attacks in Israel. These are the base Democrat voters in California. This is the core constituency group. No, no, no mistake about it. Each political party has core constituency groups. And when you see groups like this out there saying that they support Hamas, by the way, Americans were killed in Israel over the weekend. Americans were among those murdered. And yet we have Americans here supporting that. It'd be like seeing protests in support of 9-11 in our own country. Where's the media? Okay, because J6, remember what happened with J6? They took a bunch of wingnuts in J6. And they said, this is the new Republican Party. This is what the Republican Party is. It's filled with all these people. Take a look at these terrorist supporters. No doubt about it. That's how what you should be calling them. These are supporters of terrorists and murderers.
Where are all the calls for Democrats from Gavin Newsom to Karen Bass to Todd Gloria to London Breed, every Democrat running for Congress? I'm looking at you, Dave Men, running for Senate, Scott, uh, Steve Schiff or whatever the hell, Adam Schiff, um, Katie Porter. The whole gaggle of them should have a camera shoved in their face and perhaps other body parts asking for a response. Do you condemn, do you disavow the terrorist element within your own party? Of course, they're not going to do that because the media is going to do their best to, you know, basically move things around and not cover the story. It is censorship. It is gaslighting. They don't want you to see the ugly side of what's really going on here. Now, I'm not shocked because I've been covering the anti-Israeli, anti-Semitic movement within the Democrat Party for years. And we've seen it very pronounced here in California. For example, there are chapters called the Democrat Socialists of America. Democrat Socialists of America. Here is a Twitter account from the Democrat Socialists of America, Los Angeles chapter. We're the Los Angeles chapter of the Democrat Socialists. We're building an L.A. for the working class. You're building an L.A. of terrorist supporters, apparently. Um, here it, it retweets and comments in case you missed it. DSA is steadfast in expressing our solidarity with pa Palestine. No solidarity for Israel? Of course not. Today events are the direct result of Israel's apartheid regime. So in other words... Israel deserves the terrorist attack. Thousands of Israelis wounded, more than a thousand at this point killed, and they deserve it. This is hate speech. You know, Democrats used to say, oh, we have to delete the accounts of these people. I'm not calling for the deletion of the Democrat socialist account. They, they have a right to their hate speech uh, under the First Amendment, but they need to be called out for it. But do you see NBC LA or the LA Times or anyone else reporting on this sort of garbage? No. But what do they do? They actually endorse a whole slate of Democrat candidates. My water on the ground. I'm that upset about this. This is that vile. This is that upsetting that I'm throwing water around. You don't see any of the media actually covering this story. This is a big deal. When you have Hundreds of people marching in a variety of cities in California when you have major Democrat activist groups. And this is a key Democrat activist group. Democrat politicians go and seek the endorsement of the Democrat socialist chapters in Los Angeles, San Diego, Sacramento, San Francisco. This is a core constituency group. People proudly say, I've been endorsed by the wing nuts. No, by the Democrat socialists. But not a single coverage in any of the media. This is outrageous. Here, there's one comment, Brett Hamilton comments on the LA, saying that they're uh, not anti-Israeli enough because they picked a Zionist council member who've been actively harmful to Palestinians. I bet you any money that you have a bunch of gays also as a member of Democrat Socialists. They probably don't know that you know, the terrorists want to throw them off the top of buildings. That would be quite enlightening if they actually knew what they were supporting, but of course not. This happened all throughout um, California yesterday. Here's uh, the DSA San Diego Twitter account with a picture. You see this? A picture of uh, the terrorists uh, coming through a uh, border fence, and they're making this horrific, sarcastic remark about it. Uh, tying it, I guess, back to the the southern border wall that we all want to secure the border. Palestinian bulldozers are demolishing the smart technology barrier at the Gaza border. They're celebrating this. This is a terrorist attack. This is like them saying, oh, uh, you know, uh, Al-Qaeda improving air travel one plane at a time. This is the level of commentary that they have about a terrorist attack, a blood, bloody terrorist attack that is hate-filled. These people are animals, not just Hamas. These people in California are animals. And yet we have California Democrat leading politicians currying favor and supporting them and helping them raise money and going to their events and taking their endorsements. Here is the BDS website, the BDS movement. BDS is uh, uh, boycott, divest, and sanction. This is a bunch of 
anti-Semitic Democrats who want to punish Israel. Uh, they are uh, 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 promoting the um, various efforts in California to try to get student groups to form that are anti-Israeli, pro-Palestine, to call for the defunding of Israel and the boycott. Uh, it would be nice if they spelled the word uh, the, the 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 city of Los Angeles properly, but again, um, uh, these people are crazy. Someone's funding this, by the way. There's no doubt about it. This is a well-funded effort. Uh, BDS California uh, is also supported by the California Teachers Union. Uh, California Teachers Union embraces anti-Semitic BDS movement. Uh, these are um, United Educators of San Francisco. They endorse the BDS movement. Los Angeles uh, teachers, U UTLA, uh, also uh, passed an anti-Israeli um, uh, uh, resolution. I, I wonder if any of these teacher unions that these Democrat politicians go and they covet the endorsement of the teachers union and all that money. You're taking money from groups that support terrorism that are willing to say that Israel deserves it, that are willing to attack Israel at every turn. This is viciousness, and it needs to be called out. So look, our thoughts and prayers are with the Israeli people. We need to do more. We need to provide every bit of support to um, the Israelis as they fight back against a terrorist attack to secure their nation. We need to stop giving Iran money. We need to be pushing back against those terrorist elements all throughout the uh, Middle East. We need to help Israel destroy Hamas so that it never functions again. There is a time to choose a side, a time for right and wrong. And right now, it is more apparent than ever that Israel deserves our support. And anyone trading in this garbage needs to be called out and their affiliates, Democrat politicians who, who want their support, need to also be called on the carpet for their own association with these extremist groups. I call on all California Democrats, put out a statement in support of Israel now. I call on California Democrats to disavow the Democrat Socialists of America and the teachers unions and the BDS movement. Unequivocally. No wiggle words. If you can't do that, then clearly you can't stand up against terrorism. You cannot stand up for what is right. And you need to be shot. Big light needs to be shined on you so that everyone sees you for who you are. At Reform California, we don't typically get involved with foreign policy. We don't get involved with foreign policy. This is no longer a foreign policy issue. This is an issue of whether you support hate. And hate is on gr on grand scale and display right now in California. And it's time that people call out hate. If this were against gays, you know every single station in the state of California would be covering this story and immediately going out and asking questions of politicians on their views on what just happened. And every politician would be lining up to pass bills to do public education against hate. Why don't we do public education against the anti-Semitism that you're seeing on display? Can't do that? Means that you don't see the problem. Check out the website, reformcalifornia.org. Join our fight to restore common sense, dignity, integrity, character into our California political system. And please help us spread the word about this news story because no one else wants it to go uh, and be presented to California voters. Help us expose these extremists for who they are and the hate that they're spreading. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, share the video. Until next time, Carl DeMaio with Reform California. Thanks for watching. Help us break through the censorship of the liberal media by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.